Good morning, everyone. A new day, new possibilities. Let's go. What's up, everyone? My name is Bakne again, and I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I cover everything from basic to advanced MRI topics, just like this one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So today we're gonna talk about focal lesion liver imaging, where I'm using the contrast agent Primavist, also known as Eovist. I'm not gonna go into details, but this is a liver-specific contrast agent. You can read more about this. I will leave the link in the description down below. So when I made this video, I was thinking about, hey, you can go directly to the scanner. You can show the protocol and the cool images and stuff like that. But I found out that the protocol itself is very important, how you're going to set this up to be able to do the scanning part. So I'm going to divide this video in two, part one and part two, where part one, I'm going to talk about the protocol setup and how you can officially set this up. And with part two, we're going to go into the scanner and I'm going to do the scanning of this protocol so you can see the image quality and you can see how I'm, I'm scanning. I'm using the protocol itself. Before we dive into the protocol, I'm just going to say a few words regarding the, the, the timing part. A lot of people do this differently. Either you are using test bolus, care bolus, fixed bolus. So I'm going to show you how you easily can do this with the care bolus without getting sweat. And hopefully you will get a good results every time. Because there are many pitfalls regarding the dynamic part. Either you are being too late, early, or you are getting stressed, so the patient cannot hold the breath, and so on and so on and so on. I will try to break this down. Follow me and we will go to the scan and I will show you the protocol setup. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the scanner and I will show you how you can perform uh, abdominal uh, liver imaging with the um, contrast agent Primavist, also known as Eovist. First of all, I just want to show you how you can set up this protocol efficiently. And um, let's start out with uh, this part. So in here, you can go to the dot cockpit where you can do the editing of your protocol. So you see the protocol is set up with a localizer, a fast localizer with the five seconds or so. And then I start out with a haste coronal with the breath fold. This is uh, more likely like uh, practicing for breath folding. And then you see I have a coronal breath fold with the multi breath fold right there, which is uh, 33 seconds. This is not in the protocol. This is just something I just want to show you guys whenever we're doing the live scanning, the difference between those two. So I just deleted that one to show you the, the real protocol. And then you have a transversal haste. The next one in line is a trophy localizer. I'm using this one to position my care bullies. So I just want to show you guys later how uh, important this sequence can be. And it will be easier for you to position your care bullies. So I just make this one as a fast free breathing. Slice thickness of six and only eight slices, which is more than enough. And then you have the pre native Vibe Dixon transversal. And then you have the care bolus. This care bolus is just taken from the Siemens tree without any modification on it. So it's uh, more enough good for its cost. So it don't need to be optimized at all. And the position mode of this is at fix. I will show you why it should be at fix. So you see here, this uh, copy reference is copied to the transversal vibe and only picking the table position. The reason for this is that whenever the cable is stops and I'm doing the arterial phase, I don't want the position to move. I want the table to be at the same position. So I will show you live at the scan and why later. So how can this be performed? So I just trans uh, deleted that one and I marked these two. 
I push this button create copy reference and here you have a multiple choices set of slice groups you have slices saturation and I just choose the table position so you can see the icon is a uh, slave there versus the master so it's copied to the master and then I have the dynamic part right here it says x3 so I build a dynamic part in one sequence you can do this separately I will show you later how and I will show you later why I do this as one so let's check this one copy everything to the vibe Dixon so this is an important part right here now I just deleted that one to show you guys what you should do if you want to copy this one so let's mark this too and then copy reference you choose everything but this is the important part you have to push the, uh, tick on the ignore measurements and also ignore last step more likely ignore measurements is the most important part because the native pre one is only one measurements but the dynamic part you want to have three measurements right arterial port venous and equilibrium so let's check this one so inside here you see everything is copied to the pre-native but then at the measurements you can choose whatever how many measurements you want without the sequence being affected here i have three measurements and the pass between those three is 20 seconds 20 seconds between the measurements what in the world does this mean let me try to explain this further so here you have the pre-native and then you have the dynamic part the arterial the porto venus and the equilibrium this is how you can choose the time after the arterial phase is done and when you can start the porto venus and after the porto venus is done and when you can start the equilibrium right so let's check here the arterial phase you're using a care bullet to trigger that one to find out where you should start the arterial phase and whenever that is done we are choosing a 20 seconds break so that means that so whenever the clock is ticking down to around six or seven seconds we do another breath hold and whenever it reaches zero push continue so after the port of venus is done we have another 20 seconds pass after measurements to 20 seconds so whenever the port of venus is done it's a new 20 seconds pass so whenever it's clock is ticking down to six or seven seconds we do another breath hold and whenever it reaches zero we start the sequence so this pass between arterial and port venus and pass between port venus and equilibrium you can choose by yourself we have a standard here 20 seconds in between so this is how it works and then you have the 3d centric reordering we just have this one off i will soon show you how you will Get a perfect later tear face every time. So the next sequence we have in line is a diffusion. So we know that whenever we're using primwist or eowist, we should wait for at least around 20 minutes to be at the hepatobiliary every phase. I know the abbreviated protocols where they are taking sequences after 10 minutes and modify the flip angle to have the same effect as 20 minutes. But uh, we don't do that. So I just want to show you the different dot add-ons. This is one of them, generic views. What in the world is this? This is something you can do for yourself. Let's go in here and then I push the add-in configuration. So in here you can have text which explain how the sequence should be positioned and you can have images which show this you can do whatever you want here so whenever you open the sequence this window will pop up first thing you will see is this window it's just for easy for the MRI technologies to you know doing the setup so you can choose one image two image three image whatever you want different or text only So whenever you're happy with the, the generic views and you want to use it elsewhere, you can just copy that one. You can use the control button plus the left mouse click. 
drag and drop or if you want to use these generic reviews to a different protocol you could just copy this one and then paste it in a different place so I just drag and drop it there and now I just deleted it so the next I have a line which also killing the time so we're waiting for the hepatobiliary phase it's a t2 space 3d fat sat and it's a 3d sequence but it's a non-isotropic and the last one the same vibe transverse as we did earlier with the native and the dynamics so this one is the same as earlier only at the hepatobiliary phase and the last one here is not in a protocol i just want to show you the difference between the standard diffusion compared to the sms diffusion and we're going to do the live scanning later so we can see the difference in the image quality so I just delete the one now save it the protocol is like that but i just want to show you why i'm using the dynamic part as a one sequence and not three separate so we just put the strategy up there and we have another strategy there so i just make it easier for me to show you guys now and i mark the first and the last and the same here, control plus uh, left mouse click to drag and drop and just drag everything over there. And let's delete the dynamic part. Okay, I'm just copying the transversal down there now. Call this one for arterial. And then I do another copy. Calling this one for port venous. And then I right click and go to edit properties and then I do the voice commands so we're doing the manual voice commands here and that's why I want to add on the 20 seconds here not inside the sequence it's not possible inside the sequence it's because I only have one measurement so in other words this means that whenever the port of Venus activates it will be a countdown for 20 seconds before the sequence starts so they will, this will be easy for me to know exact when I'm going to do the prep fold and start the sequence. And then I'm taking the Porta Venus and copy it down. Call this one for equilibrium. So I'm just going to drag this two up there. So I'm copying the, and these two to each other with the everything function and you see here I don't need to tick on the ignore measurements it's because it's only one measurements here so this don't need to be ticked on as I said earlier when I did three measurements in one sequence I'm doing the same here with the port of Venus copying everything and the equilibrium copying everything Inside here, you have something which called liver registration. So the liver registration only works whenever you have two or more measurements in one sequence. So this is the reason I want to build the dynamic part in as one sequence with three measurements and not separated. So what in the world does this liver registration do? I will show you soon an example, so just hang on with me here. Say it doesn't work, and then I take two measurements, it's working. See here, I have three measurements, and it's working since I have three measurements. The problem which I find is a little bug and really bothering me is because. I'm making this protocol, I'm copying everything, I can adjust the measurements, but I cannot tick on the liver registration here in the protocol currently here now. So it's a workaround for that. You see, I did, I ticked on the liver registration and then I get a red market there. The red market there means that something is wrong here with the copying references. This dynamic part which is copying to the native transversal is not exactly the same so the, the systems the software is saying something is wrong here so i right click 
I update the copy references. Voila! It's working. No, it doesn't work because when now I'm going inside the sequence again, I still have three measurements, but the livery registration goes off. So this is a scary moment because I want everything to be okay and not have a, some kind of an error in the sequence. It's because when now I want to do the timing right after the care bullets, I'm a little bit afraid it would start to shim. It would start whenever I want it to start because then I would lose the timing. So the liver registration needs to be off, but whenever you are doing the scanning, you can take it on again. I will show you later in the scan. So the part when you're having liver registration, you also have something that saves original images. Because sometimes in the older software, when I did the liver registration, sometimes the liver registration fails, and then I don't have the original sequences. So this is a very scary moment when you don't when you do the dynamic part and then you don't have the original images and the liver registration fails, and then you have no images at all. So I always as a backup having all uh, the images. So I take on the same region images. So this means that I have arterial, portovenous, equitable. This is the original. And then I go down here, you can see the same here, but then I have REG, that means registration. Okay, let's check the images. So the upper row is without liver registration. The lower row is with liver registration. This is what the liver registration does. So you know that whenever you do, you're doing three separate breath holes, it's in the nature that one patient, you, me, we cannot do a perfect breath hole every time. The liver position cannot be positioned perfectly from one face to another face, right? So what this liver registration does is that it kind of registration the liver position. So you see the low row there, we are at the same position. You see the arterial face right there, the portovenous and the equilibrium is some kind of lying at the same position. To a certain point, the liver registration will do this for you. But if the variation of the liver position is too big, it won't be able to register. It works to a certain point, like in this case, it works perfectly. So this means that your radiologist can sync the images from material, put venous and equilibrium and scroll down and up and the liver will be at the same position between those three phases. So it's just a tool which helps you and the image looks much more better whenever you are sending this to packs and yeah. Well, that's it for today guys i hope you find this video valuable and uh, at least adapt what is useful for you uh, however there are abbreviated protocols out there for uh, focal lesion liver imaging with the uh, primovist eovist so i will leave that link in the description down below so you can download it directly to the scanner and you can test it out around this time uh, within next week i will release in part two where we're going to take this protocol going to the scanner and we're going to do a live scanning so I will show you how easily this can be done. Without further ado, please leave a comment down below if you are wondering about something and uh, like this video if you like it and uh, do not, do not, do not, do not forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you around so I'm turning the camera off now. Peace out.